What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the TF Movie Show. This is just a web series where we're talking about the Transformers live action movie franchise. This is episode number 54, and in this episode, I got another top 10 list for you guys. Previously, you saw top 10 reasons why Bumblebee 2 will be awesome, and before that, top 10 reasons why the Beast Wars live action movie will be awesome. Now I have for you top 10 reasons why Transformers 6 The Rise of Unicron will be awesome and you're probably thinking what are you talking about Alex you've been telling us that this movie will not happen well that's right it isn't happening but this is just a list of 10 things that would happen in my honest opinion if it were to happen and if all these things were to happen if the other movies were not happening these are the things that I would list that would actually ha that I would think would happen that would be awesome. Like if we don't have a choice right now, we have a choice between Beast Wars, Bumblebee sequel, and the animated Cybertron prequel. Right? We have three choices right now. But if we're not given a choice, and this is the only thing we're getting, we have to embrace it. So I'm just theoretically um, going with well, it's happening or it, it could happen, and uh, if it were to happen, I'm gonna embrace these 10 things that are gonna make this film awesome. So without any further ado, let's go with the number 10 reason, the 10th reason why it'll be awesome, and that is Return of the Autobots. These are the Autobots that we saw from the previous film, Transformers last night. I can't remember all of them, but there's definitely Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, there's Hound, there's Drift, there's Crosshairs, there's a couple of Dinobots, um, uh, Cogman was in there, and uh, and yeah, I mean, if you are a, a, oh, and a Dragon Storm, and you know, I'm sure they're not gonna be part of the movie, maybe they are, I don't know. Uh, I, I really don't know what they had in mind for the future of the franchise, but I'm assuming that they did mention something or at least talked about it um, in the writer's room. But uh, yeah, the return of the Autobots. That's the 10th reason why the, um, the Transformers uh, Rise of the Unicron would be awesome is because you would see those characters return. Number nine all new Decepticons. What Decepticons are there? I mean, they're all blown up. They were blown to bits. Megatron was kicked out of um, uh, Cybertron. I guess he's still alive. He was just kicked out. <laughs> like they kicked him out of a club <laughs> for being drunk. So they just kicked him out. Uh, I guess he's gonna come back to something else or a version of Megatron, like a beast version of Megatron. I don't know. Like a dragon version because it got inspiration from Dragonstorm. But in any case, we're gonna get all new Decepticons like we normally do. And that's always exciting because it's basically new characters. Number eight, brand new, potentially a non-Decepticon threat, perhaps Quintessons. Because you do realize that the story of Quintessa continues with Transformers 6, The Rise of Unicron. Uh, the Rise of Unicron is Quintessa's story, right? So perhaps we're going to see the actual Quintessons, maybe not the actual G1 Quintessons, but the Michael Bay version of the Quintessons. So um, that could potentially happen. And it would be a non-Decepticon threat, but still a threat nonetheless. Number seven, of course, new Autobot characters. I mean, how many versions of Optimus Prime or Hound or Drift or Crosshairs or Dinobots do we really need? We need to see new Autobot characters. And can you imagine the different Autobot characters they would bring back? They would have to draw from uh, from like, like G1 and um, pick out characters that uh, we haven't seen yet. For example, like Sunstreaker or uh, Wheeljack. I mean, we saw him in the Bumblebee movie, but uh, uh, there's so many different characters they could they could pull from. So um, that's gonna be exciting. Number six, I think this goes without saying, an upgraded version or a different version of Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime has gone through so many different versions with every single movie. There was the Revenge of the Fallen uh, version where he had started showing the, um, uh, I think the ribs 
and then they start he, he he had the upgrades with the jet fire parts and then there's a dark of the moon version with Jetwing prime with the trailer and then the fourth version was the night version of optimus prime then the fifth version was nemesis prime and then now we have a we're gonna have a sixth version which is gonna be who knows what it's gonna be but with every version they got a merchandise so what is this version of optimus prime going to be i don't know but it's definitely going to be a different version they got to do something different with optimus prime with every single movie Number five, of course, Michael Bay will be back. Of course, he's going to be back. You know, he comes back with every movie and this is a continuation of his franchise. So, of course, he's going to be back. You cannot have Transformers 6 without Michael Bay. So, I'm, I believe that as much as you dislike these movies, you still watch them. And then you wanted to see it, it actually conclude. Well, the only way to conclude it is by having the same director back and bringing an end to his vision. So if Transformers Rise of Unicron were to conclude with number six, of course Michael Bay would have to be back. That's, um, they would bring Michael Bay back, okay? Number four, um, they have to continue where the movie left off, okay? That's the one of the reasons why everybody wants Transformers 6 is because they want to see what the continuation of the story is, where the story leads to. There's so many unanswered questions like, like what are they going to do with Unicron? I, I, ha I think they have an idea with what they're going to do with it, but because it made so little money and you know was, was a bit of a, a loss for Paramount, they decided that, okay, well, we're not going to conclude it. <laughs> and that's just business. That's just how the, the, the business works. Uh, but if they were to, of course, uh, continue it because The Last Night was a, uh, a success, then of course they're going to continue where the story left off. And that is following uh, with uh, what, what, what Quintessa was doing and, of course, the rise of Unicron, which brings me to number three, Unicron. This might not be the Unicron you remember from G1, but it's definitely a version of Unicron. Where does that inspiration come from? Transformers Prime. In Transformers Prime, uh, Unicron came from the ground. And look at the size of those horns. I mean, Unicron must be huge. I just don't know how they're going to handle that in a final battle. But, uh, you know, they, they probably have to get like a huge size version of, uh, of like an Autobot uh, to, to fight him in space. Or like a giant planet, so who knows. Number two, this will be the true definitive ending to the saga. This is Michael Bay's saga. This will be the conclusion of his saga and it will be done. Everybody wants a, uh, a continuation of where it left leaves off and this will be the final. Like this will be the finale of this saga and then you can finally rest easy without commenting on YouTube that you want to see number six or number seven. <laughs> It has an ending, which is something that people want to see. To this day, people still want to see an ending to that that crappy movie, which was Transformers Last Night. <laughs> I don't know why, but okay, I do know why. Uh, because, you know, you're curious. I'm curious. But if it's not happening, and then they, they said that it's not going to happen, and they want to reboot it all, then um, then so let it be. Let it happen, okay? let 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 that be over and done with. And here's the number one reason why... Uh, Transformers Rise of Unicron is going to be awesome. The final battle. Think about it. Unicron. Um, the Autobots against Unicron. Perhaps Primus. Think about how crazy that battle is going to be. It's going to be crazy nonetheless. Like, it, But it's going to be like ridiculous. You know? So I can't even imagine what that's going to be like. I wonder like if they even have that mapped out at all. Or they just kind of left it. And then just kind of leave it for whoever wants to deal with it, like the next director. Because keep in mind that it has been a number of years since Transformers Last Night. At the time, you know, we all know Michael Bay. He says he's not going to come back, but he comes back. And at the time, saying that you don't want to come back during the production of the last movie is an emotional reaction. Like, you know, you're excited about it, but at the same time, you're tired of it. You're, you know, so you're like... Uh, I don't think I'm going to make another one. I really don't. Uh, you know, uh, but never say never. <laughs> That's why Lorenzo de Bonaventura uh, and Michael Bay, they said that, they never said that I'm never coming back. I'm putting my foot down. I'm never coming back. They never said that. He just says that I don't want to come back. I'm done. We're going to leave it for another director. 
but he never said like I promised you I'm not coming back in any case um, the final battle done Michael Bay style with Unicron and the rest of the Autobots in whatever way they want to do it that would be in order so that is that would be an exciting thing about uh, the rise of Unicron so there you have it I've just listed 10 reasons why Transformers the rise of Unicron would be awesome uh, those are the things that I would expect to see these are my expectations for the film if it were to happen it's not happening but if it were to happen this is exactly what I expect. I just said that earlier, but in a different way. <laughs> why did I do that? In any case, uh, why don't you let me know in the comment section uh, how you feel about this and is there anything you want to add? And this probably makes you want to see the movie more now <laughs> because you probably thought about, okay, well, I just want to see an ending to it, but I never thought about there's going to be so much more coolness to this theoretical movie. So... And that's never going to happen. So now you probably want to see it. And I'll bet somebody is going to start a petition. But in any case, uh, <laughs> uh, these are things that could be awesome or could be a complete mess. Regardless, it's still an ending whether you like it or not. Okay? Just like the last night is a kind of sort of ending. And there you have it. Now, the, the next thing video that I have for you guys in the TF movie show is that I'm going to give you top 10 reasons why the Cybertron prequel is going to be awesome. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you enjoyed it and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation, also follow me on Twitter, Rage Nation. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.